What is up guys and welcome back. Right, so I'm going to do a follow-up video here on the Pirates of the Caribbean Tides of War. What I want to do in this one is explain a bit about the uh, Cave of the Abyss, which is the best resource uh, area in the game, I feel. And then also go over a couple of the new missions on the Season Pass uh, weekly, uh, week 3 that is. So um, let me start with the cave. So when the Cave of the Abyss becomes available, it's very straightforward what you need to do. You find uh, one of these, Cave of the Abyss, try and find a close one if you want. And you can send your ships over there, you can stay shielded. But uh, in here, you're going to fight. There's three levels, normal, hard, and the edge. I've never got to the edge. I've only just able to finish the hard at the moment. But uh, what you want to do is you want to buff your ships up absolutely to the max. And then send them off there and try and get as far as you can because the further you get the more resources you get so if you look up here 29 million 27 million and 400,000 are my resources at the moment so i'm going to do the cave of the abyss and then i'm going to come back and you'll see how much more i'm going to have from that but before we do that let's go back over here and have a look at some of these missions so a lot of people have been asking me individual missions so i'm just going to go through all of these again starting from the first day showing you how to get each one so and the daily missions are pretty straightforward, so uh, silver from trade. Now, I haven't done these two here, 150 and 120, because I'm waiting for my ticket or my bonus to get the uh, Merchant Plunder 20% increase. When I get that and activate that, then I will select the Merchant Ships over here, and I will put them on Capture Bundles like this. And I'll just say Hunting Streak. And I'll just keep doing that until it's max. Then I'll send them off straight away again, empty the reserves, and then send them off straight away again pretty much the whole time that that is active. It'll be active over here. But I'm only going to do that when it actually happens. So I should actually get that one now quickly. <clears throat> to get the S1s, I need to come over here and just combine one. And then I will go down and grab that. Okay, while he's doing that, let's go to the next one. So... Daily mission again, so uh, view ads five times. Now, I can only do this on my phone because I play in widescreen on Facebook Game Room and I uh, can only view the adverts on my phone. There's no adverts at all on Facebook. So um, if you're wanting to do that, you have to go onto a phone or a tablet or something like that. Collect resources from resource islands. That is going to be pretty straightforward. Just uh, I find using the ones that have a bit of a percentage increase on them, even a 50% increase, that's 200, but even a 50% increase will almost double, well not double, like there, you'll get a lot more from this because the division is actually more. So when it comes to this, you each get uh, divided into parts by three or four, and uh, if it has a plus 50, then you're just able to collect more, is what I'm saying. on the Right, so let's carry on here. Uh, what else we got? Okay, that's all done there. Now we're going to go back to the weekly mission. Now we're going to go to the first one and just go through them. Monster raid is straightforward. If somebody uh, raises a boss monster, I want to go through these, like I said, you have to come over here if you've got the boss scrolls then you can summon these and then you can rally your attacks and attack the monsters what else uh soul from trade okay i think we've oh wait we're going to go first one here upgrade tactician so that's pretty straightforward as well you just come to your mission over here click on your pirate and upgrade tacticians the one that have the arrows up you can upgrade tacticians and to find how to upgrade them all you have to do is come over here, and if one of these is red, like you're needing one, just click on it. It'll tell you right there where to find the individual ones that you need. And I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start teaching myself the tacticians, because at the moment, the tacticians are my least favorite part of the game. But unfortunately, they are the, the strongest, and they will have the greatest effect. If I upgrade that even once, my power will go up like 50,000. It's crazy how strong... Um, the, they are. They are seriously OP. You could have weak ships and very strong tacticians and are still able to beat the battles in Tortuga. So we're going to make another video on that. Let's carry on with this. Weekly mission, first one. Uh, share Port City info. We've done that already. Build ships. Say hello in your lines chat and hire 1,000 pirates. Straightforward. Attack Mermaid Island. Again, you're going to have to find a Mermaid Island. Uh, well, not really Mermaid Island. you just got to go like this. Align skills, and somewhere down here, Mermaid Island Conquest. You can start that, and then a mermaid is going to, well, the mermaid's not going to appear, a monster's going to appear, and you're going to be able to attack that with all your Alliance members. Well, moving on, let's see what else we got here. Weekly mission, we've done the first one. So second one, uh, Forge Papers, that's going to be straightforward. Hunt Monsters, Tortuga Brawl. Uh, somebody asked me the other day where that is. You just got to go over here and click on Tortuga at the moment. I've done all of them. You're allowed to do five free ones a day. 
but you just say battle i'm not going to spend 500 on that again i don't pay much attention to this i just do it for the daily missions but again i am going to be getting into this i'm going to get into the more intricate parts of this game because i want to do more and more videos on it excuse me so let's continue we're on the weekly mission number two so tortuga brawl calypso's blessing and obtain craft level 28 tier 4 or better again this is not something i do all the time because the materials you need to craft them are sometimes so scarce for example um wait hold on uh, let me just show you the yeah calypso's blessing so click on a ship calypso's blessing right there and you can spend a lot of money at the start you'll have a four or five attempts where it'll be much cheaper but the only time i'll ever do this is when the secret mission over here has a calypso's blessing because anything you do any of the time in this game there's going to be advantages and t better times to do it and that is everything so for example there's an event on here for ship building <coughs> excuse me and for upgrades so if you upgrade your ship or level up your ship it'll be instant but don't just do that because you, there's an event on wait over here until one of these has ship building because then you'll get your advantage of that as well as this and also if you wanted to you could wait until you have the correct daily event which is going to be thursday which is higher by high pirates build ships so if you build ships on Thursday, you'll get the you'll get these over here. You'll get the advantage of having it instantly done. And if you're lucky enough, try and get two of these to have ship building, which is very rare. One of them should be enough, and then you'll get three advantages from just building one ship. So if you did this on a on a Wednesday or something, you're going to lose out on the actual uh, bonuses that Thursday gives you. Okay, so what I touched on before about the equipment now. I'm currently, for example, I'm going for my Season Marauders Masterpiece set. And I've been going for this for a long time now. And um, at the moment, I can actually do this. Don't know why that keep changing, keeps changing to that one. It took me quite a while to get this, the uh, Anvil, Iron Anvil, or Anvil Iron. And you can only get it on level 26 monsters and SP2 and 1482. But 26 is the one I've been hunting because that's the one I can attack. And eventually I got it. So now it is insufficient Maester level. This means if you click on your picture up here, click on Mace the Level, this has to be level 20 for me to craft that. So again, I know I touched, the, I touched on this in my other video, but um, the reason why I don't craft uh, helmets is because it's going to use my resources for the one I want to craft. So again, I touched on it before. I just go onto this, click on the helmet, click on Upgrade, not Upgrade, sorry, click on Refine, and then I'll use my Souls of the Blacksmith, and this will slowly increase my master level until I get to level 20 and that's why I don't craft uh, most of the time I don't I don't do these ones these missions because uh, I need to keep the resources these kind of missions but I will do the level ones uh, where is it I think it's over here daily mission yeah it says craft level one tier three so that is easy enough you just go to your crafting and then you go all the way up to the top and you can craft even level 15, something like that, craft that, uses very little resources. There's a chance it'll be low, low, low. Uh, you keep doing it until you craft a, a tier three, because sometimes you get a mission to upgrade to tier three. So when you have both of them, you can combine those for extra effort over there. Okay, continuing on. We're gonna go to weekly, mission three, or week three at least. Pillage uh, from Notorious Pirate. Now again, the Notorious Pirate, I prefer way more than the EITC for two reasons. So. If you go onto the world map, these red dots over here are the EITC. That's going to be a little bit too powerful for me. But if you go around, you're going to find these guys. And this is what you have to farm to get this. Now, obviously, the bigger guys are watching this. So you've got to be very careful. You've got to know how to go there and then go to your random spawn location and use that the second someone attacks you. Or if you're lucky enough to have your shield up, you can do that as well. But with the Notorious Pirate... I use these majority all the time. I don't ever use the EITC or attack the EITC until I have, to, I have a mission for it. Go to Notorious Pirates, click on something, and over here, you could farm this. There's a chance no one's watching you. Hello. Nah. So there's a chance no one's watching you, uh, but again, you have to be very much on guard. Make sure you know where that is, where that is. Use that. Don't panic when someone attacks you because um, they, they give you a fair amount of time now to actually retaliate. And another reason for this is you get bloody coins. The bloody coins are these fellas down here. You get the bloody coin pieces, sorry. And once you uh, uh, combine them, you'll get bloody coins. So I've just done a whole lot of research upgrading, which is why I've only got 18. And the bloody coins are used for, like I just said, the research. 
So on the research, you'll have, especially on advanced research and wall research, you have to have bloody coins to research. So if you're farming EITC, you're getting resources, but you're not getting the bloody coins. And that's why I'll only ever farm the EITC until, like I said, there is actually a mission where I have to do it to get this or to do a daily mission or something like that. Okay, let's continue. Uh, okay, we've done all that. <clears throat> we've done the weekly three. So, obtain uh, 3, uh, 360,000 silver from trading. And then down here, there's going to be... Oh, I thought there was another one. Okay, so this one over here again, I'm waiting for my ticket to come. My bonus. And so can I get that, I'll be able to do quite a few of these. And uh, I'll get this one and I'll get these ones as well. So, uh, you can still collect these ones or do these ones even on week three. Let's have craft a level 28 tier 4. So again, that's crafting. If that was upgrading, I might consider it. But again, I, I can't use my equipment. Yours might be different. And that's quite big. And I currently do have the aura and everything already. So I'm doing this just for chests. Okay, purchase from the market 50 times. And again, this is going to have a long time to do, a week to do this. And I've done 25 in one day. What I normally do with the market, just to let you know, I'll buy anything. That, okay, the ticket I'll get no matter what it is. I'll buy anything that is materials and silver. I just click on that straight away. I won't spend silver on uh, resources, but I will spend this kind of thing just to see what's next. Like there, I'll need that. Keep doing that, keep doing that, and then I won't do that. Gloves, material chest, yes, definitely. Monster bait, food, no. So I'll spend silver on that all the time, and I'll use gold if there's 24-hour speed-ups or 8-hour speed-ups or uh, the... Uh, territory move ticket and that kind of thing and uh, once you do that you'll have this one in the bag right over oh, we don't do that one yet so weekly so that's that one so purchase from the market defeat 35 eit ships eitc ships at your gate so that's going to be over here thank you for illustrating and he is toast that is what that one is for and uh, let's keep going down sell tier 3 or higher equipment so this you can combine with the crafting of tier 3 equipment and again, that's 20 times. So you've got a week to do it. There's a chance I might do it again if there's uh, enough resources. But again, I'm not in dire need because I do already have the highest tier over here. I'm 50 plus over there. And I've got some rewards coming to me over here. So let's just grab that. Treasure chest is all you get. Well, not all you get. They're pretty good after you reach level 50. So that is pretty much another overview of that. Let's have a quick look over here. Ah, there we go. Perfect timing. <laughs> As you can see over here, this is going to give me 30% trading goods. How amazing is that timing? That's awesome. So that's applied automatically once we've done that. Then, <laughs> like I said before, wait, let me just show you something here quickly. This over here, it says, if you look at the bottom, 3549 or 3549. Perfect. And it says I've exceeded max capacity. But if I open this game on my cell phone and I fill that up, it allows them to put the, the pirates on there. So I don't know what the hell that's all about. But anyway, like I was saying before, we're going to find the merchant ship. We're going to go to level 30. We're going to say search. And we're going to say continuously attack, please. Ooh, I'll take the essence. The essence is the only thing holding me back now to upgrade my ships. So if I see essence, I grab it straight away. Essence or soul of the blacksmith. And the bloody coin I do probably last because uh, I can get that by farming the EITC. So again, this is perfectly illustrated. So we're going to just do this. I'll send all my ships out on a continuous attack make sure i get the hunting streak over there and uh, when that when the uh, storehouse at least is full then i will empty it maybe use a speed up for the trade and uh, this is the only time i'll farm for for silver and you'll see now again i'm going to make a pause now i'm going to do the cave of abyss and again you're going to see over here 29 27 and 399 and also by the end of this you'll see how much the silver gave me as well okay i'll catch you in a second all right, just before I go, I wanted to show you what's in the chests over here. Let's have a look. So wood, wood, uh, heal up, and bloody coin 10. And I like to reset it over there to make sure nothing else popped up. So that was a crappy one. Some of the time you'll get blueprints. Some of the time you'll get better amounts of food. But I'll catch you in a second. All right, guys. So when you get to the cave of the abyss right there, you start off with a challenge. Then once you finish that, move to hard, then move to the edge. Um, I don't think I've got to the edge yet. Uh, just managing to finish the hard one. But just select challenge, select, select, and challenge it. When you defeat them with three stars, you'll get um, the ability to go to the next one, as well as the most collectibles or resources, as I'll show just once here. Easy 
one not too hard. Then uh, right now they give you three stars if you don't use any ships. And then you'll get three stars worth of resources. So I'm going to continue doing this till the end and then I'm going to show you what I got um, once I've done as much as I can on this. I'll catch you in a second. Okay guys, we are back. So as you can see here, there was 789 injuries. So we're going to sort that out straight away so I can get my tough pirates back onto the boats. And uh, we can also get a couple of these. So the silver from trade, as you'll see, I'll tell you in a second, I'll show you in a second what we actually got in the end. We'll just collect this quick stickles. Then the seasonal one is going to be win the Cave of Abyss 20 times. Done. And then we can go to rewards and collect the loot. Okay, so as you can see, I have a significant amount more <laughs> than I had when I started. So coming in here, making sure there's nothing that I can actually collect in here. We're just going to delete, delete, delete. And if there's nothing there, no, there's nothing to collect as in no chests. I'm going to go in here and have a look at this. So that is from the, the Caribbean Pass. And all these boxes and stuff, they're going to be part of it as well. As you can see, there's quite a few, all dark green. And uh, we're going to go through here, have a look at it whilst we've got... Yep, always love the capture bundles. Those are vital. 42 of these. Letter of Mark, absolutely awesome. We'll combine all of those for 115. And 32 of the second class. So we're definitely going to do that. 200 of those, absolutely awesome. Uh, 1,800 uh, Essence. I'm almost, I've almost got enough to do my next ship. And the ships is what I'm focusing on now. 1,500 uh, tiers. And that's awesome because I can actually build some more tough pirates. We've got a couple of bloody coin pieces there. What else do we have here? 150, 100k, 50k. Not bad for that. And anything at the bottom? No. Okay, so there you can see, guys, um, the massive increase. It's almost, what is it, uh, 16 million more food and about 2 million, just over 2 million more extra wood. So the Cave of the Abyss is definitely still the best way to get resources. And uh, if you're able to get further, then obviously you can get more resources, but you have to be super strong. I can just get to the end of uh, hard mode. And uh, that's only not even the end. I only to up to number 30, I think it is. But yeah, that is that, guys. So please remember, um, if you're looking for an alliance to join, email me from the description and we can chat there. Um, uh, don't try and chat or you can chat on the channel comments but it's just easier for me to communicate with you via the email because the youtube comments are still a little bit erratic at times so if you are looking to join an alliance email me and we can sort something out and also remember guys i'm going to be doing more and more videos on this so i do realize there was some repeats on this guys but uh, the cave of the abyss is definitely worth a video on its own and uh, i will be doing more videos like i was saying before i want to get into the tacticians i want to learn them i want to study them and uh, i want to figure out which are the best ones except well, obviously those are going to be the best ones but the best way to farm them and to upgrade them and to get them onto your ships so that's it guys please if you're enjoying the content smash that like button and if you're really enjoying it then subscribe so i want to say thanks for watching and i want to catch you on the next one